Ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Brenda Ford. Hey, Brenda. Hi, everybody. Hi. Tell us about Up for Women and Children and what we're celebrating tonight. Well, we're celebrating, hopefully, a lot bigger place for more women to come that come there to get their life starting over. Uh, like Miss Andrea right there. She Awesome. Thank There's you. Andrea. Yeah, she looks great. What is it that Up has done for you, Brenda? Well, they help me, well, I, they help me get uh, back on my feet to uh, get to my own apartment, which is which has happened. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to school to be a peer peer supporter. Awesome. And um, hopefully find a full time job. So, and then help, I also help, will be helping uh, up with the new ladies that come into that place. Excellent. You experienced homelessness for how long, Brenda? The two years all together, I think. That's amazing. And now you are in your own apartment? Yes. And you have your own little work? Yeah. And you are able to support yourself and take care of yourself? Yeah. And a lot of that is thanks to Up and the other outreaches in yes. town? Yes. They, they have saved me. Yeah. Believe me. Good deal. Thank you, Brenda. No you look fabulous. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good job. Well done. Okay, so Andrea went up there. Is there more stuff happening upstairs? Look at all those fun people up there. Hey, there's Carrie Dorton. Hi, Carrie. Carrie. How are you Carrie? Carrie, you're on the outreach team at St. John. Come on up here. <laughs> Talk to me just a little bit about what uh, Up for Women and Children does. Uh, well, what they do is they provide resources uh, for women that are experiencing homelessness. Uh, it's a place where they can go and uh, have support. They can take a shower. They can do laundry. Uh, they can meet with case managers, get IDs, a lot of things that they need to do. Uh, they can do there. It's a wonderful resource that we need in our community. I love it. What's your specific job, Carrie? So my job is I'm a peer support outreach worker with St. John's and we're partnered up with UP. So what I do is I go out and I meet individuals where they're at, whether that be in the camps, the bad offs, or sleeping in a bandos. Um, and we get them uh, connected to resources. Amazing. So grateful for you. So proud of you guys. Thank you so much for all the hard work you do. Thank you for we, everything that you do. Oh, we appreciate you. I'll steal that microphone back. I'm going to see if I can find Amy or Andrea because they are the two founders of UP. And I know I saw Andrea go upstairs, but... They're getting ready to start the ceremony. That's what I heard. That's perfect timing. Thank you, Carrie, so much. So... Hey, Shelly Santry! Oh, oh, how are you? Wow, what a surprise! Well, hello! Why are you here? Well, it's up for women. <laughs> and uh, I'm a guardian at Lightham on Tuesday mornings in Family Court One. And it's a great organization, so I thought I would support it. You happen to run into some of these folks in the legal sense. You're, a, you're an attorney and a law professor yourself. What is the value of this women's shelter, the only women's shelter in global? Well, you know, this particular women's shelter gives the boost up to mothers who want to do better. And you know, there's not a person here that hasn't had a problem or an issue or something to overcome. And some of us have a better toolbox. And up for women and children gives those tools to the women who come I to think, visit them. I think they make your toolbox more full. We should mention one thing that I discovered, and that is that if men are single and have children, um, up for women and children will also accommodate the men with the kids. So I think that's important to mention. As does the Center for Women and Families, by the way. Right. Even though the title says yep. not, yep. it's not true. Thank you, Shelly. All right, good to see good you. Good to see you, too. Yeah. Love you. See ya. Let's go see if we can get Meg Fisher Stone to go on camera with us. Meg! How are you? Look at you. I'm going to put this on you for just a quick second. I want you to tell me what you're doing here. I am here to support the wonderful organization of UP. And just did our $20 
bourbon or wine pole. Wow, that's awesome. That's a great idea. Some food and bidding. What is it about up? Oh, I get to keep. I get to keep my posters. I got two posters for us. What is it about up that impresses you so much? Oh my gosh, I have volunteered there several times, and I'm going to go back this week. Um, it's so welcoming for these ladies, and there's just so many ways to help each other and be there and support each other. And I'm just so proud of Amy and Andrea. And uh, Andrea is speaking at my church tomorrow, oh, good. Epiphany Catholic Church, because Andrea and I worked together to get a grant from Epiphany for $6,000. I love that. So she's coming to share at Mass tomorrow. Excellent, so, Meg. You're the best. Good Thank you for all the work you do. Thank you for all the work. We appreciate you very much. All right, let's see. I'm another client of Andrea's. Oh, good. How are you? What's your name? My name's Trudy. I just want to I thank everyone for coming out tonight. It's a wonderful turnout, and it will help us tremendously. Those two up there are fantastic Aren't in what they, they do. are amazing? They Tell are me, amazing. What, is, what has Up done for you? Got me my birth certificate, the outfit tonight, a you lot of fabulous. Um, Look at you. Everything. They're fantastic. Wherever we need, they're there for us. That's so terrific. I hope that we, we can get a bigger space out of this because that's what we need. We're getting more women in there than we can handle. I hope so too. So, Congratulations. Thank you. So proud of you. There's our beautiful Miss Brenda. Wow, I am so impressed. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm thinking, hey, how you doing? I'm going to find Amy somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, there they are. Before you start, Hi. Hi. tell we're me how wonderful this is. It's been a great event, and we're getting ready to have a program, yeah. so you'll be able to hear you more. You do it. And there's the fabulous Vicki Rogers. Hi. How are you? Good. Good to see you. All right. We'll watch. All right. We'll watch. They're going to do a program. We are going to watch. We're going to stand right here. You guys can see and hear everything that happens. Got to get the mics on. We'll wait for just a second while they get the microphones turned on. And we'll show you this incredible crowd. Beautiful crowd, lots of great people. Susie, you're more than welcome. This is wonderful. I'm so grateful that we get to be here tonight. Uh, Andrea Scott and Amy Meredith have done an absolutely amazing job. This is one of the most beautiful venues in town to have a big celebration here in the Actors Theater lobby under the gorgeous dome. And the people who have come to celebrate tonight um, vary from folks who are on the board to folks who work it up to people who have benefited from up. And Vicki Rogers is, is emceeing for us tonight. So lovely. Have a good time. My name is Vicki Rogers. I'm so honored to be your MC tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I want to remind you to get your wine corks, your wine and bourbon poles over there. It's only $20. Every single dollar is going to help a lot of folks right here in Louisville. At this time, I am just I just want to tell you I'm blown away by this whole event. This is the inaugural event for this organization. They have done an amazing job. Love the sponsors and love these two ladies. I'm going to get introduced to you right now. They have worked so hard to make this a beautiful night for you all. This is Andrea Scott and Amy Meredith, co founders, uniting partners for women and children. Please give them a very big hand clap. Thank you, Vicki. And thank you all for being here and supporting us tonight. 
We're so excited to share this evening with you. We'd like to share a little background and information about our first year. <laughs> so nearly three years ago, just newly graduated with my master's in social work, I mentioned to my supervisor the idea of a St. John Center for women. I then mentioned this idea to my friend Amy, who had been working in business development and wanting to do something more fulfilling. Apparently, she wanted to work double the hours and get about a third of the pay. <laughs> we met with Maria at St. John Center for homeless men to discuss the services that they offered and if there was a need for and a place the way, like that. These are all women who have been from Poplin. I love that we were the fact that they've got this extraordinary agreed that there was photographic a huge need for a day shelter for homeless women and children. Display. That nothing like it existed in Louisville, and they were thrilled that we wanted to do it. So we conducted a needs assessment and worked with legal aid to achieve our 501c3 status and develop a board of directors. In early 2018, we received our nonprofit status, worked out a lease with Christ Church Cathedral, and with the help of the Coalition for the Homeless and Women for Women, we received funding to open our doors. Without the support of these funders, United Partners for Women and Children would still be a dream instead of a reality. And without the love and support of our husbands, we would never have made it this far. June 16th, uh, July, yes, 2018, UP started operating three days a week from 9 to 1 as a drop in center that offered comprehensive services. Our numbers have steadily grown, and we welcome new women and children daily. We average 40 to 60 women and children in our small basement space at Christ Church Cathedral. And every month, we welcome 25 to 40 new women and children. In our first year, we thought we might serve 200 women and children. However, we saw that number in the first four months. Last year, we had nearly 4,500 visits from nearly 500 women and children through 139 shifts. <laughs> You'll notice it'll get a little bit more clear because there's a lunch serve on Wednesday and they make their way upstairs for lunch and then they come back down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. One day. Mm -hmm. So this is all in four hours time. Yeah. That's amazing. Absolutely. So our incredible. women face domestic violence, mental health, substance abuse, poverty, chronic health conditions, and so much more. We strive to provide more than a mailing address, showers, and underwear. We provide a warm and welcoming safe space, a non-judgmental listening ear, and connections to resources to empower them to achieve self-sufficiency. We never intended to do this work alone, hence our name, United Partners. With the help of additional agencies like family health centers and legal aid, we provide medical, mental health, and legal services every week to our guests. We have had so many individuals and organizations help support our work that we couldn't possibly recognize them all this evening. By working with other community agencies, UP increases access, coordination, and accountability of services to those we serve. In the first year of operation, UP helped end homelessness for 139 women and children. Wow, that's amazing. 139 women and children. And with the help of Housing Their Hope, turned their house into a home. Mm, At this time, we'd like to share a story of Frances, who isn't here this evening to share her experience and what UP has meant to her. So, a few weeks ago, Frances celebrated her 70th birthday. Frances also cares for her disabled nephew, and they both rely on a disability check that barely covers their expenses, making affordable housing a challenge. Their homelessness began when their apartment burned down this past March in an electrical fire the day after they had paid their rent. Not only did they lose all of their possessions and rent money in the fire, she also lost her breathing machine and hospital bed. 
the landlord would have returned her rent or security deposit. The American Red Cross assisted with $500, which she and her nephew used for a short hotel stay. After that money had been spent, she learned their case was closed and there were no other resources to offer. She and her nephew turned to emergency shelter, but after having items stolen and being robbed of their medicine, they turned to the streets for shelter. Linda soon found up where she was welcomed to a safe space, able to take a shower and clean her clothes, things we often take for granted. UP helped her obtain their birth certificates and provided a mailing address to replace their social security cards so that she and her nephew could apply for an apartment where they are number one on the waiting list. We have worked with community partners to provide a hotel room for her and her nephew who is currently recovering from surgery. Frances stops in daily to say hello to her UP community even on the day she has her chemo treatments. She recently told us, you have been my support team all this time. There have been times that I would have given up, but you really have been what has been keeping me going all through this. With an 860 square foot day room, two restrooms, one shower, two stackable washing machine and dryers, we've accomplished so much in our first year. Our hope for next year is to provide more sustainability and long-term growth for this organization. We desperately need to find a new space add more staff to our team, and expand our services. The sad reality is every day we have women leave without being able to utilize the services we offer because we are at capacity. Our shower lists, laundry list, and case management lists are full. Your support tonight takes us one step closer to expanding these vital resources to our city's homeless women and children. And at this time, we're gonna show you one last video. In 2018, Louisville reported nearly 7,000 homeless women, children, and men in our city. Um, this is Louisville's first women's only day shelter. Our mission is to provide a healthy and safe environment so that homeless women and children can receive opportunities and encouragement to achieve self sufficiency. We provide shelter and resource options through a partnership of providers, and this is where homeless women and children can find hope, help, and refuge. We did not want our space to feel like another shelter. We wanted it to be a warm and welcoming space where they could have someone to have an open and listening ear that's non judgmental, that could help them navigate through a crisis, and could help them access as many resources and supports as possible. So we do our best to get people connected to build community and to make sure that they feel safe and welcome. Well. Tonight we are here to show our support of UP and the women and children that they serve. They need your help tonight and we want to turn this into a long, a long term vision into a reality. So just $500 will pay to help keep this safe and inviting space open to those women and children who desperately need it. $500 will keep it going for another month. Is there anybody who is willing to donate $500 right now? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> can, we get, can, we, can we get this better number? Thank you so much. Thank you. Anybody else? Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else that can match this donation tonight? Anybody else willing to give $500? Yes, right back there. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate your generosity. It's going right here in Louisville, such an incredible organization doing such good. Anybody else? Is there anybody else who can find it in your heart to give $500? Right there. Oh, great. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody back here. We have another one. We have another one right here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anybody else? Is there anybody else that would pledge $500? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Is there anybody else that would pledge $500 tonight? I got $50. And if you can't, then please go bid on some more silent auction items and bid high because every single dime raised tonight goes to help these women and children. And it is amazing. Thank you all for your generosity, for your amazing response. And we know that um, every dime is going to go right where it needs to go. And we also, once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors this evening. We'd like to thank Reliant Wealth Management, Cozier Charities, Anthem, and Walker Mechanical Contractors, right? So give me a big thank you. Okay, and the auction is going to close at 845 tonight. So make sure you get up there again one more time and make sure you get those courts for the wine and bourbon for only $20, so that really helps a great deal as well. All right, thank you so much, and thank you to our board of directors, a huge thanks to all our volunteers. We have about another hour of fun, so do go enjoy yourself. Thank you for being here, and we will definitely see you all next year, too, right? Hi, gorgeous. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Up board members. <laughs> Does it have my name on Tiny it? Tiny Mark. Did you slide a microphone on I me? I just put a microphone right on your breast. <laughs> I didn't even know it. I know. I'm so clever. Tell us about Up. You serve them beautifully. Yes. Up for Women and Children. Uniting Partners for Women and Children is a day shelter here in Louisville. Open three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 to 1. Um, serving women that are experiencing homelessness and their children. Offer in a safe space that's beautiful and comfortable. And uh, I'm part of the outreach team for UP. So I'm out in the community gathering women and children up and bringing them into UP and getting them connected to services. What's the major problem you see women experiencing homelessness going through that UP can help them with? Well, that's not an easy question or a one answer, but um, many women that are out there experiencing homelessness are coming from a relationship, a domestic violence relationship. Um, they may be experiencing some mental illness on their own. Um, it could just be that they, they, they lost funding for their apartment that they had or lost a job. Um, we would like to know if there's any way to provide a roof over a, your children's head if you're a single yes. parent is almost you impossible. Thank you. Thank if you're working a minimum wage job in our city, you would need to work about 60 plus hours a week to afford rent for a two bedroom apartment. Lack of affordable housing is the number one cause of homelessness in our city. Huge. Yeah. So when you talk about mental illness, substance use disorder, and homelessness, it goes hand in hand. They all go together. To the people who are disdainful, to the people who feel like those experiencing homelessness are subhuman, what do you have to say? I have to say that that's someone's daughter, mother, father, brother, sister, son. They're a human being. Shelter is a human right. Bottom line. You don't have to be sober. You don't have to be on medication for your mental illness to get shelter. That's discrimination. It's a human right. Are you in favor of giving money to people that you see on the street, or is there some better way we can help them? So I always tell people it's a good idea if you feel, if your heart is being tugged and you see somebody on the street and they're asking for food or they're asking for money or they're buying a sign that says they're hungry, I personally like to carry around snack packs in my car, um, gift cards, $5 gift cards to McDonald's, tart tickets, that's a big thing. Um, that way, if some people are worried about enabling someone, whatever, um, they can hand them a gift card and meet a need at the same time. Awesome. And let's not forget that panhandling and homelessness is not the same thing. There are two different, two different things. There are some people who are panhandling who don't have the problems that our friends are homeless. That's correct. There are people panhandling that drive very nice cars, probably make more money than I do. What's in your business? 
Tiny, thank you for all you do for our friends experiencing homelessness in Louisville. We love you and appreciate you. Thank you, Tara, for shedding light on everything that needs to be talked about in our city. We try. Yes. Have a good night. Love you. Love you. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm telling you what. That was fun. That was nice. It was beautiful. And we're going to say goodbye to Iffy. <laughs> thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. Good to see you. I'm leaving. All right, guys. I got to get back to my, uh, my chase, my big chase, my big dog chase. We've got a dog up in... Cherokee Park who's been running on the expressway at Grinstead in the tunnels and we have got to get that dog trapped so getting back out of my nice clothes and back into my scrubs and ladies excellent job thank you so much Dick bye Brenda Dick thanks for the great photos Dick thanks for the great photos <laughs> okay guys have a great night thank you good to see you all